all the differential equation d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equal to 8x square e power 2x into sin 2x. This is important, very very important problem. RHS side till now I got only two functions, but this q of x containing three functions x square e power 2x sin 2x. One algebraic function, other one is exponential, and another one is trigonometrical function. If you observe these type of terms, then you have to solve in different manner and previously I solved the problem x into v of x. If the power of x is more than 1, we have solved the problem by imaginary and real part. According to the real and imaginary part, we will solve the problem. Now, once again, every second and higher order differential equation containing two parts. First part is complementary function, second part is particular integral. Now, first of all, focus on the complementary function. It is in the standard form, capital uh, f of d into capital D, y equal to q of x. It is in the form of second and higher order differential equation, where f of d equal to d square minus 4d plus 4. q of x equal to 8x square e power 2x sin 2x. Now, to get the complementary function, you should consider auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation f of m equal to 0. That implies replace capital D by small m equal to 0. That is nothing but auxiliary equation m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. Calculate the roots for this equation. m minus 2 whole square equal to 0. Again, m equal to 2 comma 2. I got real roots. Then, according to real root formula, complementary function, we are constructing complementary function yc equal to c1 plus c2x into e power 2x. This is the formula of the equal root. Now, this is complementary function over. First part is over. Now, focus on the second part yp equal to 1 by f of d into q of x. This is particular integral of the second and higher order differential equation. Now, you substitute all the values f of d and q of x values yp equal to 1 by d square minus 4d plus 4 into 8x square e power 2x sin 2x. Now, first of all, what I will do, if you observe three functions, algebraic, exponential, trigonometrical functions, then focus on the exponential term first of all. You write e power ax outside of the integral, outside of the particular integral means here the exponential function is e power 2x, then you have to write the remaining term e power ax into v of x method. Already I taught you this method, e power ax into v of x, then in that method we can write e power ax outside of the particular integral. When you are writing outside of the particular integral, then replace d by d plus a. What is the coefficient of x here? in exponential function a is there. If it is minus a, then replace d minus a. Means here the coefficient of x is 2. Means replace d by d plus 2. Method of e power ax into e power ax. Then 8 is outside. This is constant. e power 2x is also outside. 1 by d plus 2 whole square minus 4 into d plus 2 plus 4 into x square sin 2x. 8 into e power 2x by d square on simplification the denominator part d square plus 4d plus 4 minus 4d minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 plus 4 plus 4d minus 4d cancel uh, plus 4 minus 4 and minus 8 all are cancelled 8 into e power 2x x square sin 2x x square sin 2x, then you can solve this problem actually in two ways, imaginary part and real part. If sin 2x, if you observe sin 2x, you have to consider imaginary part. If cos 2x appears, you should consider real part. This can be written as 8 into e power 2x, imaginary part of, instead of sin 2x, I am writing here e power i 2x. Means, if sin x is available, then you should consider imaginary part of i x. If it is sin 3 x, means you should consider imaginary part of e power i 3 x, means 
according to that coefficient of x we will write exponential term here sin 2x is available that's why i am writing here imaginary part of e power i 2x into x square the remaining term is same again i converted this into the form of e power a x into v of x e power a x into v of x means again you write e power a x is outside according to that method then that can be written as imaginary part 8 into e power 2x e power i 2x is also outside 1 by d plus 2i whole square into x square because the coefficient of x is 2i is there 2i is available then replace d by d plus 2i that's why we are writing 1 by d plus 2i whole square into x square now on simplification again imaginary part 8 into e power 2x e power i 2x by then you have to consider x square x power k form x power k form means if the rhs side if it is polynomial if it is in the form of x power k form then i told you one general method you should use those six formulas 1 plus d whole inverse 1 minus d whole inverse 1 plus 2d whole inverse like that those using those six formulas we can solve the problem now actually you this is very very important problem in this problem we are using many methods previously we have solved the individual problems according to formula now combining using all those formulas we are solving this problem in this problem we are getting all types of functions means mostly we are getting three functions that's why we are using different different formulas now 2i is constant if x power k form rhs side then you have to take constant term is common then 2i is common from that one the anyhow whole square is there 2i whole square is nothing but minus 4 that's why i wrote here 8 into e power 2x e power i 2x by minus 4 into 1 plus d by 2i whole to the power of minus 2 into x square this is i got it is in the form of 1 plus d whole to the power of minus d minus 2 then using that formula minus 4 into 2 is 2 minus 2 into e power 2x e power i 2x then according to that formula if the rhs term is x square then you have to expand up to x square term then it becomes as 1 minus 2d by 2i plus 3d square by 2i whole square into x square now multiply with x square minus 2 into e power 2x into e power i 2x 1 into x square is x square 2 into differentiation of x square is 2x divided by 2i plus again 3 into d square of x square means 2 times the differentiation of x square that is 2 by minus 4 on simplification imaginary part of minus 2 into e power 2x e power i 2x into x square plus 2xi minus 3 by 2 then again imaginary part of minus 2 into e power 2x e power i 2x can be written as e power i theta formula e power i theta is nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta formula then cos 2x plus i sin 2x into x square plus 2xi minus 3 by 2 now this is our actual solution of the problem right but before this uh, answer i wrote there imaginary part means from this uh, function you have to consider only imaginary part means containing i terms therefore i am taking an i terms only minus 2 into e power 2x into sin 2x into containing items x square minus 3 by 2 plus 2x into cos 2x observe this one this is sin 2x containing i part from this one real part when you are multiplying this one we are containing imaginary part sin 2x into x square minus 3 by 2 like that you have to consider again another contain another uh, term containing i then that is 2x cos 2x then this is our actual particular integral then you combine for the general solution y equal to yc plus yp therefore y equal to c1 plus c2x e power 2x minus 2 into e power 2x into sin 2x x square minus 3 by 2 plus 2x plus 2x cos 2x now this is the general solution of the given differential equation